Oh my god. I just woke up, guys. It's like uh, 10 something a.m. right now, 10.20. And um, I actually woke more of like around 10. Got a really good sleep last night, which I needed because all the jet lag madness. Um, weird thing is, I have legs today, and my hamstrings are so sore. They're so sore. They're so freaking sore. But I, I should be fine. I should. Woke up with a kind of heavy weigh in today. It was like a 181.9. Two days ago, it was like a 179.9, so a little heavy, you'd say. But honestly, I feel leaner than ever, but let's check it out. No breakfast, just making my pre-workout right now. Pre-workout. Caffeine pills. Powerade, banana, apple. Myron, protein powder in the back by the way. What's up guys, <laughs> deadlift vlog time. Both Megan and I are hitting the same uh, reps and sets on this specific day, five sets of seven. Uh, I really like our training because lately we've been we've been going to the gym together, we've been hitting the exact same workouts together. Uh, well, at least the uh, the primary exercise. Our, um, our exercises after, after the primary one sometimes can be different, uh, but we both start the same. So we both hit five, six, seven on this. Megan's been improving her deadlift so much. Her back is so much straighter on these deadlifts. She's been utilizing her core more, um, keeping the back neutral, and also getting that hip thrust at the end in finishing every rep with a full hip extension, which is great. So here I am. I think I'm doing 435 pounds. Uh, it's my lightest deadlift day of the cycle, six by six. Uh, I, I assume a deadlift pretty damn wide. <laughs> and honestly, my form... Um, in this workout, the previous, and even some of the next ones are a little bit, it's a little bit off because my lower back's been a little bit tender from, I don't really know what, but, um, I probably just need to, uh, foam roll it, stretch it, and a few other things. So if the form lo is looking a little off, it's really just because my lower back's been a little tender. So six sets of six with this weight. Uh, you can see the bar path. On a couple of this, it kind of hinges on the way down, but most of my reps are pretty much straight up and down. Uh, there's there are iPhone apps and Android apps that you can actually film yourself from the side and you could click on the screen where the uh, the bar tip is and you can get a good idea of uh, how straight your bar path is whether it's going forward back or what and th it's really cool it's just a cool tool to have I've never used that actually I might have used it but um definitely recommend if you are really really anal about your your technique then try that out and uh, it's an easy way to stay in shape. Um, I actually just kind of quit on that set because I got my grip, and then I realized, like, yeah, this is my my uh, my tape, my athletic tape in my hands was was not set up properly, and uh, I didn't want to spend the time to put. Actually, I, I kind of wanted to practice some strapped sets because uh, I also want to get good at strapped deadlifts. It's funny because I, I, to me, using straps is like a skill because I don't use straps for the most part. And there comes a workout every now and again when um, I really need straps. Like when my uh, my thumbs start really cutting open or like the skin just starts, it, the skin is about to rip open. Uh, that's when it's a good time for me to throw on the uh, straps. So I, yeah, I decided to get a back view uh, just really just to see kind of how it looks. I think the camera is slightly uh, tilted a little bit. That's why everything looks like it's like not, not set. Uh, not you know 90 degrees straight uh it's slightly tilted to the left but uh just wanted to get a nice little back view to see how it looked how it looked there it's funny too because normally bumper plates are supposed to be wider than the uh metal plates but at this gym the metal plates are wider than the bumper plates so regardless these deadlifts make a ton of noise and it's kind of it's kind of silly but hey Crazy because this is like the hardest deadlift workout I've had in a really long time, and it's supposed to be my easiest. Besides the deal, of course, it's a 70% day. That's a six. That's so. Whew, it's supposed to be easy, guys. Oh, road bumps, man. Road bumps. You're gonna have them. Push through them. Adapt. But uh, I'm glad I'm getting this workout in and uh, not you know not giving up. At the same time, it's not like so bad that I'd probably get injured. Because you do have those days when uh, you know you're fatigued or whatever, jet lagged, and you you can push through safely. 
but you will have days when you really shouldn't hit that workout. You really shouldn't, you know, do that weight that you're supposed to. Just, just because, like, and, and experienced lifters know this feel. You will have days where, you know, something really happens. You really shouldn't do anything too crazy. Today's not one of those days, guys. Today's one of those days where I'm gonna push through this shit and kill it. Uh, two more sets left. All right, big shout out to Mr. Girl who actually edited these, this video and the next one on the way to a friend's house. Uh, we drove down to like Livermore, Liverpool, uh, Bay Area, and she kind of cut up these videos for me. Made it a little easier. I just got home and I'm voicing over these now. And um, yeah, here are some more deadlifts, sumo deadlifts. Uh, big misconception that these are a wonderful hamstring exercise. Huge misconception. Not that your hamstrings aren't being used but by uh, widening your stance and especially opening your hips, opening your knees, you're using, it's transferring more of that into your quads. So your quads become uh, more involved. The, the wider you take your feet, the wider you're opening your hips, opening your knees. Uh, but yeah, bar path gets uh, decreased with sumo, um, shifts more focus to your quads. Like I said, the more wide your feet are, the more wide your hips are open. After that, I, I decided to do a uh, freaking 20 rep set, like don't hate, 20 rep set um, lunges for my glutes. So I counted up to 40 reps, so 20 on each leg with this. I've really been enjoying doing these uh, reverse in place lunges. I find them really fun and uh, I, just, I just like them a lot. I'll do them on both my higher rep days as well as my heavier um, days so I think I, I think on this day I did five sets of 20 seriously five sets of 20 that's a crazy amount of volume and they're just like 30 pound dumbbells and then on the heavier days lately it's been like 50 pound dumbbells for sets of sets of 12 or around there three to five sets as well here's a different angle of what these look like right here boom there's Megan in the background looking cool looking awesome yeah we share uh, music sometimes. She might like have forgotten her headphones or something, and we pretty much share everything that we have with each other. It's pretty cool. Good relationship we got going on. Another set of 20 here. I'm about to do, but I'm not gonna show you every single uh, rep. Just want to give you guys a side view of what this looks like. Um, it's really important that you try to standardize every single step, uh, just mentally, not necessarily visually, because then you'd be screwing up your form looking around to see where you're stepping back so it's just something you feel for and eventually you work your way towards into you know just a nice uniform step uh, later on uh, standing calf raises and this is something that uh, that I feel really strongly about and it's one of the one of the things I'm most confident about <laughs> in terms of what is working for me at this given time for me standing calf raises um, Five sets of five to six reps uh, is awesome. You know, I hit a set of I hit, I hit one workout of five by five with a given weight. Then I hit that workout with five by six. Um, sometimes I'll even do six sets or maybe seven. Just depends how much time I have, etc. And then I'll increase the weight, bring it back down to five by five. Reps done pretty much just like this: a pause at the bottom, a squeeze pause at the top, slow negative, and a forceful positive. And I, I hit my seated calves differently. This bad boy here, on my hypertrophy, a heavier or a higher volume days, I'll be doing sets of 20, usually three to five sets. Um, and I've, it's funny because I, I used to never really be into, I used to think that like 15, 20 rep sets never had their place. And I actually really enjoy doing them now. I actually really enjoy doing them. It's funny. Now, 20 rep set, that's way too many reps. I used to do the same thing, but honestly, uh, there are many variables to training. Um, for example, if you slowed your eccentric and concentric on a 20 rep set, it would turn into a 10 rep set. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, guys? And the total tension given pretty much the same amount of effort given into a set is pretty much the same. Pretty much the same. Uh, all other factors, all other factors, uh, you know, considered and held. Um, anyways, lastly. These uh, seated calf raises, I like to do like this: pause at the top, pause at the bottom, slow positive, and a slow negative, or even slower negative than the positive, of course. But um, yeah, 
They've been making lots of gains for me. No, but seriously, my legs are so pumped and jacked right now. It's badass. But that was such a tough workout, seriously. Such a tough workout. My body is just destroyed right now. I can't wait to, uh, well, I can't wait until it's like acclimated to, uh, the frequency and just lifting again. Every, you know, the longer I go without hitting the gym, as soon as you hit it, you're like, oh my gosh, I'm destroyed. And it's funny too, because that's how it is with uh, people who, you know, go through a new training program or especially a new personal trainer or whatever. And they do one workout and they're like, oh my gosh, it's such a good workout. It's such good this, that. Because they get held a sore. But really, really it's just a different stimulus. It's just a different stimulus. It could be that it's a, that it's been a while since you've done what you've done, or it's totally new, but it doesn't necessarily mean that it's like the shit. But it could mean that you're working the muscle that you're going for. <sighs> Tangent, Trump. We are switching it up. Instead of watching AD, the Bible continues today. We're watching Game of Thrones, season five, episode two. She didn't get to see the first episode, so I'm gonna break it down to her and let her know what happened in that first episode. It was pretty sick. This season seems like Things are really progressing and things will start colliding, you know, with all the different things going on in different parts of the world. I feel like lots of things are coming together. And I'm sure a lot of you guys are already like on, I don't know how many episodes are up already, but I'm like on episode two. I'm, I'm lagging. Honestly, I haven't even seen the full episode of the latest uh, Walking Dead. I don't even know what happens. I've seen like one or two episodes of the latest season. So that's something to say for the future. Oh this my has to be god. Like four pound feet. We have to weigh these. Oh this is crazy. Go over there. Go over there. Go. Go. We gotta weigh these. These are so oh strong. Oh my gosh, these are right, I think mine's heavier than this. Uh, we'll start off with the grams. So <laughs> hey, feel the mine's heavier than yours. Yours looks bigger than mine. What the mine's heavier than yours. What the hell is this? <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm not gonna. Okay, you ready? All right, yeah, yeah. All right, Grams, mine is 1,243 or two pounds in about 12 ounces. Hers is two pounds, 10 ounces. Whoa, mine's... Whoa, did you hear that? That was like a cat. Yeah, that was Okay, weird. mine is heavier, but yours is just more voluminous. That's crazy. That's insane. That's a lot of, that's a lot of uh, burrito bowl. Yeah. Here goes the big reveal, guys. Let's do it. Ooh. Oh, that's what it was. They put my lettuce in there. Wow. Okay. They made it so big they couldn't fit the lettuce. Oh my gosh. So they put the lettuce in thing. This is Megan's right here. Look at how big this is. Oh my gosh. It's so big. Oh dun, 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 I bet the door's gonna open behind her. That's crazy. You're shaking right, off her clothes. Hold on a second. What's up guys, it's meal time again. It's about that time. Just look at how much leftover burrito bowl we have. And this is a huge pan thing, a huge pan. And huh. uh, look at all that. And we're also having some tilapia, but uh, we're just serving this as the carbs. We also got a salad over here. So we got salad, tilapia with vinegar, and uh, Leftover chipotle bowl for the carbs. We are definitely not gonna be able to eat all this. So she hopped in the shower, took off all her makeup, and I think she looks the best right now. Very beautiful. You're welcome, babe. <laughs> you look good. I like it. I like the all natty look. <laughs> laundry, laundry, laundry time. All right, good night, fam. Seriously, I can wake up.
All right, good night, fam. Can't wait to wake up tomorrow, uh, hit the gym with bacon, and uh, actually overhead press. It feels like it's been a really long time since I've overhead pressed, so I'm, just, I'm stoked, I'm stoked. Um, up in my training max, just uh, slightly. Um, it's not as high as it used to be. Granted, uh, that was like 12, 13, 14 more pounds heavier than uh, what I am now, when I was at my highest uh, overhead press training max. But, um, you know, it's exciting working my way uh, back up the training maxes uh, at a much lower body weight. Okay, have a good night, guys, and I will uh, see you all tomorrow. Maybe even uh, do some uh, periscoping tomorrow like I have been. Um, as always, much love. Peace. Quick flex. I always wonder what the back of the tricep looks like. Hey, quit being a little bitch! August cake!